Welcome back. Now, rain, humidity and high temperatures, sound familiar, are the perfect breeding ground for mould. With many parts of the country still damp from record rainfall, there's been a, a massive outbreak of fungi. Lots of people are talking about this. Lurking in cupboards and on ceilings, mould is more than just an eyesore. It can make you seriously ill. Asthma or existing conditions are most at risk, but the issue with mould in New South Wales is everywhere. The, the moulds are a bigger and bigger problem for people all the way through Australia right at the moment, the east coast especially with all the rains. And this is turning up in my medical practice all the time. The, the issue is that the toxins produced by moulds that can be in your house, you don't even notice the moulds, but the toxins have an effect on the nervous system. Experts say mould can grow inside damp walls for months before it's visible outside, and its effects on human health can be devastating. Usually it ends up uh, like a very severe allergy. It just keeps getting worse and worse over time. I had a fungal infection or mould growing in my lungs. I was pretty lucky at that point to still even be alive. Months while mould took over the house and his health nosedived. As soon as the black mould came in, I got infected with the uh, uh, cellulitis in my legs. In many cases, it's an invisible threat because it might not show up on interior walls. So if we don't strip out these homes and do the sanitisation that we're doing, the mould that's in the wall cavities will continue to grow um, and it will turn into a major health hazard for a lot of these people. Mould creeping across the ceiling, so damp the light had to be disconnected, leaving a family of five to shower by torch for three years. This is simply a disgrace. Mould can be easy to spot, but by the time you see it, it could already be a health risk to you and your family. If household mould is left untreated, it can trigger a range of health conditions including asthma and allergy, pneumonia, a weakened immune system and chronic fatigue syndrome. Well, with the extreme wet weather uh, has come the issue of mould. Isn't it annoying? And in the case of our next guest, the situation is so bad, doctors ordered them to leave their home immediately. Yep. After four gruelling days, the mould has started to take a toll on her body. Everything just feels really thick, like it feels like like we had COVID and I personally think this is worse than COVID. Someone who let's say had a perfect memory prior to a flood all of a sudden won't be able to remember things such as dates or birthdays and that's because their brain has become inflamed. I started getting cramps in my stomach. Every organ in her body was inflamed. It's the silent epidemic taking over our houses and making us sick. People just don't realise how serious mould can become. Um, and there's been, I guess, a few reports coming from up north of people trying to clean up their homes, you know, that are very flood damaged, having horrible, uh, horrible reactions to the moulds and getting extremely sick. My chest was tight. I was very, just unwell all the time. Um, always had a blocked nose. And for her daughter, Courtney, her allergies resurfaced. Both blame this, mold. We have eye, nose, throat irritations. We have upper respiratory problems um, to neurological effects. So I hear my daughter like coughing like all night and my partner's always coughing and I'm scared for my child. We don't use these toys at all anymore because of the black mold and because it's not safe for a child to be in. I have a really serious health problem just from attending school. You know, what am I supposed to do as his mum? Mold causes breathing difficulties, spores attack the lungs and can trigger a range of health problems. That school is not fit for human occupation. Someone needs to do something now. Until then, the Sheridans will keep on fighting. Just for someone to give us a go, we want a nice house that's respectable and, you know, to be able to invite your family over and not be ashamed of where you're living. Oh.